Welcome to the Beyond Press channel. Hello. Today we are going to do second stupid rocket fuels video. And today's fuels are... Is this like salami? Yeah, yeah we have salami and cheese. And both are quite fatty. So I, I hope that the fat is going to burn. And then these have also some water in it, which don't burn. But I think even the water can add like to the thrust because it generates a lot of steam and that expands and helps with the pressure. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are going to use this first because this has more fat and therefore it's more probable that it's it's like I think this is better. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> And this is like the finest salami that you can find in Finland. It was really expensive, but luckily we made a lot of YouTube money, so that wasn't the problem. <laughs> and, and I would like to like, yeah, now we just... Uh, there is still some Lego dust here. Mm. Don't freeze it's that. It's fresh. And I put this like that. I think it's going to be really interesting to drill the hole. To <laughs> <laughs> the salami. Salami drill. Yeah. Drilling meat. Yeah. And now we... This is like doctor from hell. <laughs> <laughs> Dentist yeah. from hell. And here we go. It goes quite well. Mm. Salami shavings on my hand. <laughs> so now I have to calibrate our scientific instrument to get it a bit more precise and I will use the saw. <laughs> yeah, let's hope that this will help on like the sensitivity of the our measuring device because last time it didn't go really well. <laughs> Yep, so now we have salami inside of the engine and the oxygen is running and I'm going to ignite the thing and let's hope that it burns. I have no idea. Yeah, it's burning and the scale is on. I will stir for a while so it can like get ignited well. Yeah, and now we are ready. No, it's really cold here. No, it's picking up. I 
I think salami isn't very good. I think I I could try to make the hole inside of the engine a bit better so it flows like. Yeah, the hole is good. There isn't any problem with this so the like air flow should be. Yeah, now there's straight hole through the whole thing because it goes like this and yeah. I think we are going to ignite it again because it might be that there wasn't like straight path for the gas to go. So let's try again. So new try. grams of thrust but no big fire yeah let's cool it down and then open it and have a look so here is the end result ah disgusting so there is like quite good path for the oxygen oh. that wasn't the problem I think that is this is just so poor fuel compared to some other stuff that we have using. It is fit. Yeah, I think, is it, I'm not sure if that, let's test it. Is, is it's fat or water. I think it's both, because it okay. makes this like sparkling sound. And I think if we would like run that real long time, maybe the water would like, ep like get out from here as a steam and then it would get a bit better or maybe not and there is also like some like unburnt material like salt and stuff like that so yeah this is not perfect but but on the like if you don't have anything else this works and next one is the cheese this is also really fine brand pirkka <laughs> Oh, brutal! You don't need that hydraulic press here. <laughs> you can just manual press things. I, I, I hope that this would be a little bit better than that salami. I was a bit disappointed on that. Yep, same. Or if you have some like suggestion, what would be like better salami brand for <laughs> rocket fuel? Let us know. I think this could be like heat shield around the motor. <laughs> Look at that. It's perfect fit. Yeah. And then the cheese drill. Yeah. This is how, if you have like holes in the cheese, this is how they make them. <laughs> this is terrible mess. I heard that this is the same methods that they use at NASA. Some brave men go under the rocket and use burning stick to light it up. Yeah, it's burning, but really poorly. Ja, 
Yeah, I think we are ready to go with full pressure. kind of works but it didn't produce any thrust and also it like spitted cheese balls <laughs> out of the nozzle so I declare salami the winner but I think we should still open the thing because there is melted cheese inside yep. you could pour it on top of your hamburger or something <laughs> so let's open the thing moment of the truth again Ugh. It's just like on top of your pizza. Ugh. It makes almost me kind of hungry. I think we should go to have some pizza after this. <laughs> so it has like burnt the hole just bigger, bit bigger. And there is, I think it was like, because there is, there is the problem. There is lot of stuff piling up here that won't burn and I think these were the stuff that they, it was like spitting out so not ideal not ideal fuel, fuel but it, it works if you don't have anything else and pro tip if you have pizza with salami you can roll that and then you have <laughs> mix of cheese and salami and just add that the ochis and torts in the middle of that and it's ready ready to go but you won't care get far with that as you as we have seen here yeah but i think that is all for today thank you for watching and have a nice day <laughs>